Chapter 6, Part A, Post-Event, Screening Individuals for Vaccination During a Smallpox Emergency, with Dr. Brett Peterson. In Chapter 6 of this training video, we will discuss post-event vaccination and screening individuals for vaccination during a smallpox emergency. Relative contraindications and special populations will also be discussed. In a post-event setting, the primary response strategies to control and prevent the spread of smallpox will include a vaccination program along with surveillance and containment activities. Because replication competent smallpox vaccines have been used successfully in past eradication campaigns, these vaccines will be preferentially utilized in the response strategy. The replication deficient vaccine, Imvimmune, may be made available for use in individuals with certain medical conditions and or with relative contraindications depending on their risk for smallpox infection. Thus, healthcare providers and vaccine administrators should be aware of the available smallpox vaccines, usage of these vaccines, screening for relative contraindications to smallpox vaccination, and anticipatory guidance for vaccinees and or individuals that cannot receive vaccination. Recommendations for the use of ACAM 2000 during a smallpox emergency are based upon an individual's risk for smallpox infection, risk for an adverse event following vaccination, and benefit from vaccination. No absolute contraindications exist for smallpox vaccination in a post-event setting. However, there are several medical conditions that will be described in more depth under relative contraindications that have a substantial impact on the risk-benefit analysis and should be incorporated into the vaccination decision-making process when screening individuals for ACAM 2000 vaccination. Individuals can be categorized into those exposed to the smallpox virus and those who are at high risk for smallpox infection but without a known exposure at the time of vaccination. Individuals exposed to smallpox, including those with relative contraindications, should be vaccinated with ACAM 2000 unless they are severely immunodeficient. However, individuals at high risk for smallpox infection without a known exposure to smallpox virus should be screened for relative contraindications to smallpox vaccination prior to administration of vaccine. Individuals exposed to smallpox are defined as individuals directly exposed to an accidental or intentional smallpox virus release, household family members of persons with confirmed, probable, or suspected cases, and others spending greater than or equal to three hours in the household since onset of fever in a case, or non-household members with greater than or equal to three hours of contact less than two meters or less than 6.5 feet away from a case with rash, because of the high case fatality rate and severity of smallpox, individuals exposed to smallpox virus are at high risk for developing and transmitting smallpox and are therefore recommended to receive ACAM 2000 vaccination unless they are not expected to benefit from smallpox vaccination due to severe immunodeficiency. Vaccination with ACAM 2000 should be avoided regardless of smallpox exposures in individuals with severe immunodeficiency who are not expected to benefit from the vaccine due to the high likelihood of a poor immune response and increased, increased risk for adverse events. These individuals include bone marrow transplant recipients within four months of transplantation, persons infected with HIV with CD4 cell counts less than 50 cells per cubic millimeter, and persons with severe combined immunodeficiency, complete DeGeorge syndrome, and other severely immunocompromised states requiring isolation. Of note, CD4 cell counts should be adjusted for children less than 13 years old. Instead, these individuals should be given clear information about the signs and symptoms of smallpox for self-assessment, provided with specific information on when and where to seek care if symptoms occur, and advised to avoid contact with individuals with smallpox and those recently vaccinated with ACAM 2000. If symptoms of smallpox do occur, then the individual should be isolated immediately. 
Although individuals with severe immunodeficiency may not benefit from vaccination, if antivirals are not immediately available, it is reasonable to consider the use of a replication deficient vaccine, such as Imvimune, if the vaccine is available and authorized for use by the Food and Drug Administration. Depending on the magnitude of the outbreak and the effectiveness of the public health response, individuals at high risk for developing smallpox infection without a known smallpox exposure will be defined by public health authorities during the smallpox emergency and should be screened for relative contraindications prior to ACAM 2000 vaccination.